Greetings, Benjamin J from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, a new engine has arrived. I wanted to do the uh, unboxing on video. This is a 666 that I found on eBay for $10. Now, looking at the photos, this engine is just absolutely trashed. So let me see where they sealed this. Now how the motor is, I have no idea. The body itself looks to be in particularly terrible condition. If I could find the overlap in this. There we go. All right. Now, as you can see, this is just absolutely eaten alive with oxide. Let's see if we can get a shot of this. You see this? This is indicative of, I can tell you exactly how this happened. This engine has been sitting upside down like that in the bottom of a cardboard box that has been wet very likely for decades. And uh, this is intergranular degeneration and it actually forms a, uh, a crust as this metal slowly begins to expand and that's what's happening here. And uh, you have to be really careful dealing with this stuff because it's really fragile and uh, you can actually break big pieces of this stuff off. So what I'm gonna have to do is soak this in oil and scrub it. And uh, well, the motor turns, let me refocus this motor turns but you can see it is just in dreadful condition covered with rust uh, front truck turns it's turning with the axle it's supposed to be independent so that's in terrible condition rear trucks spin freely so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lightly scrape this contactor and we're going to put this on the rail and see if it will run like I said, this is just absolutely dreadful condition. Now, this green film you see on the copper, this is called verdigris. It is extremely tox <coughs> toxic. And easy way to get this off is to take uh, some oil. Put a small drop of oil on this. and then spread it out for a second and then you can scrape this directly off of here now this motor has not run very likely in 30 years maybe longer than that it has been a long time since this motor has run so we're going to scrape this off. I'm going to put a few drops of oil on this motor, on the gearing, the output shaft, and see if this will run. All right, let me get a cloth. All right. You can see how tenacious that stuff is. So, wipe that off. Now, we're going to put a drop of oil on the output gear itself, just to get some lubrication on that bearing. And we're going to put a big drop of oil on the bearing for the armature. All right, for now, that's all we're going to do. So, the ultimate test. This thing has been sitting a very, very long time. All right, you can see it is just absolutely dreadful condition. All right, power is on. I have no idea if this is going to run. Look at that. Is that just absolutely amazing? $10 on eBay.
And the E-unit works. So as I always stress, don't overlook the junk. Now this is a smoker as well. Whether it's going to smoke or not, I have no idea. But while we're right here testing it, and uh, since the motor's running, now this is amazing. You can see how terrible this uh, engine is. It's been sitting for years and years and years, and yet it ran. I haven't done anything to it but oil it. All right, so I've got some mineral oil. Going to put four drops of mineral oil, let's make it five drops, into the chimney for the smoker. Let's see what happens. It's smoking. Just barely, but it's smoking. There it goes. I don't know if you can see this or not. But it's definitely smoking. All right, well, it was definitely worth the 10 bucks, even if I only use it for parts. Whether I can clean up this uh, body is a whole different ball game. But the motor itself is why I bought it. So as you can see, this is just absolutely dreadful, just terrible, terrible condition. So it's always fun and a challenge to find something like this and see what you can do. Because you see on this side, it's actually in remarkably good condition. This side isn't too bad, apart from some rust on the push rod. But all this damage you see, this sat upside down, I can guarantee you, upside down in a damp cardboard box. And the problem with cardboard is it retains moisture. And then once it's damp, it attracts moisture. And if you have a uh, soggy cardboard box in a damp environment, it will never get dry. It'll remain wet for 20 years, 30 years. It will never dry out. And that's what has happened. This has been sitting upside down at the bottom of a cardboard box. So can we fix it? Really difficult to say. But we know we have a working motor plus all the other parts. We have the front truck, the rear truck, all the parts in the motor itself, uh, the uh, front cowling, which is missing a screw, but uh, it seems to be completely intact. And once this is uh, cleaned up a bit, this motor is gonna run really well. I've done nothing to it but a couple of drops of oil and scraped the uh, verdigris off the contacts. So it's gonna be interesting to see this. 10 bucks on eBay, and I was the only bidder on it. And like I keep saying, you have to look past all of the damage and you have to actually look at the locomotive itself. And you saw for yourself, two minutes, I scraped the contacts, put a few drops of oil on it, and this engine is running. That is quite incredible. And the headlight appears to be on, but it is really, really dim. I can see it glowing in there. And it's starting to smoke again. I tell you what, while we have it right here, let's throw this on a consist and see how this runs. Here's eight passenger cars. So whether this can pull it or not, I have no idea. It's gonna be interesting to see. All right, we are on the rail. Front and rear trucks are on. This is going to be interesting. So I'm on uh, rail two. Wheels are slipping a bit, but it's pulling it. And now it's smoking. So, it's definitely worth $10. Anyway, whether I can clean it up or not is problematical. I have no idea. This is really, really bad. And uh, it's actually beginning to eat 
the metal away and as you see it's beginning to change shape and what's happening this is turning to powder it's crystallizing so it just expands and expands expands until it literally falls apart so oiling it you can get this stopped of course it has to be dry and uh, we'll see if I can get this stuff off and how much damage it's done to the body itself but in any case I have a uh, double reduction motor with a smoker that is smoking and uh, this was 10 bucks on eBay. So we'll see uh, how this goes as far as getting it cleaned up. I should be able to make it presentable at least. It's never going to be perfect. This thing has uh, been stored uh, years, decades, very, very long time. But I wanted to do a quick video on this. When I saw this, I bought it just for the motor. I didn't know if I was going to be able to save this shell or not. But we shall see. So I just wanted to do a quick video. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email. Ben's Trains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.